Let's study Venn diagram with three overlapping sets. Shading Venn diagram regions. Let A, B, and C be three sets shown in the Venn diagram. For each of the following sets, draw a Venn diagram and shade the area representing the given set. Number one, A, Union B, Union C. Shade circles A, B, and C. Number two, the complement of the quantity A, Union B, Union C. This is the opposite of A, Union B, Union C. Shade the area excluding circles A, B, and C. Number 3. A, intersection B, intersection C. Shade the area where the three sets overlap. Number 4. The complement of the quantity A, intersection B, intersection C. This is the opposite of A, intersection B, intersection C. Shade the area excluding a, intersection B, intersection C. Number 5. The union of A and the complement of the quantity B, union C. Let's use two Venn diagrams to illustrate this. This is set A. And this is the complement of the quantity B, union C. Combine the shaded areas. This is the result. Number 6. A minus the quantity B intersection C. This is A. This is B intersection C. Combine A and B intersection C. Then remove B intersection C. This is the result. Writing the number of elements. Place the elements of these sets in the given Venn diagram. What are the elements common to A, B, and C? Regi. Place Regi in the area where the three sets overlap. What are the elements common to A and B? Brent and Regi. Since we already have Regi, place Brent in the area where A and B overlap. What are the elements common to B and C? Aldrin and Regi. Since we already have Regi, place Aldrin in the area where B and C overlap. What are the elements common to A and C? Michael and Regi. Since we already have Regi, Place Michael in the area where A and C overlap. Next, do we still have elements left in set A, set B, and set C? Yes. Joshua in set A. Place Joshua in circle A. Nash in set B. Place Nash in circle B. And Shan and Salik in set C. Place Shan and Salik in circle C. Next, are there elements in the universal set not found in sets A, B, and C? Let's check. The elements in sets A, B, and C are the following. Brent, Joshua, Michael, Nash, Reggie, Salik, Shan, and Aldrin. Dwayne and Iman are elements in the universal set not found in the three sets. Place Dwayne and Iman outside the circles but inside the rectangle. Writing the number of elements. 
If the cardinality of the universal set U is 100, the cardinality of set A is 28, the cardinality of set B is 31, the cardinality of set C is 42, the cardinality of A intersection B is 9, the cardinality of A intersection C is 10, the cardinality of B intersection C is 6, and the cardinality of A intersection B intersection C is 4. Use the Venn diagram to show the relationship between the three sets. Find the cardinality of the complement of the quantity A union B union C. Start with the cardinality of A intersection B intersection C, which is 4. Place 4 in the area of A intersection B intersection C. Next, the cardinality of B intersection C is 6. Since we already have 4, 6 minus 4 equals 2. Next, the cardinality of A intersection C is 10. Since we already have 4, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Next, the cardinality of A intersection B is 9. Since we already have 4, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. The cardinality of set C is 42. Since we already have 12, 42 minus 12 is 30. The cardinality of set B is 31. Since we already have 11, 31 minus 11 is 20. The cardinality of set A is 28. Since we already have 15, 28 minus 15 is 13. The cardinality of the universal set is 100. Let's check if the sum of A union B union C is equal to 100. 13 plus 5 plus 20 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 30 is equal to 80. How many elements in the universal set not found in A, union B, union C? 100 minus 80 is 20. Place 20 outside the circles but inside the rectangle. So what's the cardinality of the complement of the quantity A, union B, union C? The answer is 20. Thanks for watching.